color and I mainly sing, but I also play a big instrument called a panul, which is a table harp. It's going to be sitting on my lap. I brought two musicians over from Egypt and we, were, we did a, a week of rehearsals and then we had a lovely concert at Glen Gould Studio and then we recorded a CD at the end of that week and we did, after we did a concert and then they went back to Egypt and in the meantime I produced the CD, got it all ready, got it printed and pressed and then um, they came back and we did a little tour um, in Canada we went to Calgary as well as Ottawa and that CD we did very quickly but um, it was really uh, an amazing CD and an amazing experience with the musicians we brought over and it was nominated for a Juno in 2009 and um, I would say uh, it's one of the favorites of the many albums that I've done. There's a man named A.R. Rahman and he um, wanted me to sing my Yamaya for him. So at first he had me improvise and like sing some Arabic songs for him just so he could get a feel for more Arabic music because he didn't want an Indian sound. And then he went back to India, wrote the song, um, had somebody compose Hindi lyrics and then came back to Toronto and had me record it. And at the time I didn't really know who he was or how big he was. Um, but then I was very surprised with what happened afterwards where it became a huge hit in India. And so now everybody who watches Bollywood movies knows that song and knows my name. I grew up in Canada. I came here when I was one. So I have a lot of pop tunes in my repertoire that I love and I grew up singing. And then um, it wasn't until I was in my 20s when I moved to Toronto that I started studying Arabic music and doing that kind of music. But um, before then I performed pop and folk in clubs and things like that. And so um, at one point, I was invited to do, sing at a Kate Bush tribute concert. And this was after I had been doing Arabic music for a long time. And I thought it would be kind of fun to try to do an arrangement with my kanun. And I have a friend who's a violinist. And so we got together and we came up with an arrangement for one of her songs. And it was actually, it went over way better than I had ever expected it to. And I loved it. And I wished I would have an opportunity to do more things like that. And then this, this concert came along where um, I've been spending time with songs that I love and finding out different arrangements that I can do with them on my uh, table heart. So you'll get to see it. So there's some, there's the Kate Bush song, but I also have some Joni Mitchell, um, Leonard Cohen. Um, I even did an arrangement of that Gautier tune. Well, for me, these songs, well, I know the Gautier one is too new to be a classic, but uh, some of the other songs I'm doing are definite classics as far as I'm concerned of those uh, artists. And we're doing them because it's a strings weekend, so we're doing them on ancient strings. So I'm, I'm playing my kanun, but um, I also have a friend of mine who is no stranger to crossing boundaries. His name is Jaron Freeman Fox, and he'll be playing violin. And then um, another musician friend of mine, Walid Abdul Hamid, also loves to cross boundaries. He plays electric bass, but he also plays all kinds of percussion and uh, is a beautiful singer. And then I have a percussionist with us from Iran, and her name is Nagma Farahwand, and she's a master of uh, these beautiful uh, Persian percussion instruments. And all of these combined are going to be new arrangements of these old songs. So I guess in a way, this is what I think of as keeping music alive, is just trying new things and um, seeing what happens, and just playing. Uh, I'm Marion Poller and I hope to see you all uh, at the Classics Festival at Harbor Front and I can't wait to share um, these arrangements and doing these.